Hey, welcome back. Uh, this is Race Graze here with uh, another diecast review. This one here is going to be the 2017 Casey Kane Darlington Throwback. Uh, great clip, Chevy. Uh, ran at Darlington with uh, obviously the throwback weekend that they had. Um, it was an original scheme of Jeff Bodian's um, way back when. It was I think it was a Hardy's car or something. Um, but yeah, the paint scheme is great. So uh, we'll start, of course, with the box. Uh, Darlington Raceway, they did the special boxes for these. Um, Darlington branding all over them. We got a little one down there and up on the corner and stuff. Um, this is the Great Clips Darlington 2017 SS, one of 505. Um, this is a gold edition car, which is very disappointing. Not for the sake of the cost. For 40 bucks to get a car like this is cool. But... I'm a huge Casey Kane fan, and I would have absolutely gotten the arc, hands down, wouldn't have even hesitated. So, you know, you, you kind of gain some, you lose some. So, we'll get down to the close-up spot. Um, down the left side, you got the yellow, brown, and more yellow stripe on the front there, but it was kind of weird that brown accent actually blends that car together real nicely. Um, and down the side, you can see that plastic window net for the gold edition. Uh, obviously, no roof laps. The paint detail is fine. The paint quality is low because it's the gold edition. Again, I, I just don't like the gold edition. It's nothing against the price or anything. I just, you know, I would rather have the ARC edition, and that's why I'm kind of disappointed that next year's ARC is going to be this year's gold. So, yeah, not, not a huge fan of that. But what are you going to do? So... On to the back, Great Clips Online Check-In. I've used it before. It's actually very handy. Um, you know, I, I don't go to Great Clips anymore because I enjoy my haircut being actually good. But, you know, they do what they can. You know, it's 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 just hard. You know, when you go to a place and they, uh, they know you so they know what cut you get versus trying to explain everything every time. So, anyway, enough about haircuts. On to the right side here. Uh, we got the nice star there. Great Clips Farmers down the right side going kind of backwards here back to the yellow front black painted uh antenna or roof camera there um cane was on the back window there uh den number 407 you can see here uh the roof number kind of an odd font same as the same as the low one though um and then the hood detail which that's not part of my problem, but I, you can't even put your fingernail under this hood to open it or you'll start scratching paint off. That's what I mean by paint quality. So you can see under there, the hood paint looks good underneath. Engine detail, piece of plastic, you know, it's all right. You know, it, you get a cheap car, you don't usually have the hood open on it anyway, so why would you care? But anyway, um, yeah, so it's on the side, I think it's on this side here. Yeah, you can see it right there. There's two little white chips. That's just from the, the hood being opened. It, it almost came off under a fingernail when you're kind of prying it up. So now I know I just stick something through the bottom and poke it up with a something. But that's what I mean by paint quality. You know, it, it, the paint quality is a little less, and that um, kind of limits the durability of it. So I'm not, again, not a big fan of the Gold Series. I like high-quality stuff. Um, and I'm willing to pay a little extra for that high quality stuff. Now, if they went with a non hood open version as gold so that nothing opened and it literally sat like this, uh, no hood open, no anything, and they could knock that cost down to like 25 bucks. Well, then we can talk because, you know, 25 bucks for a die cast would be great. You could be able you know, build a really cool collection out of it. And when they get old and they're worthless, they're great gifts for kids. I mean, I as a kid loved the hood open, but I hated the big heavy chassis. I wanted to be able to run them around and, and zoom them all over the floor and have the hood open, but I didn't want to have that big heavy metal chassis underneath because I remember buying, I think it was a 2006 Scott Riggs for like 10 bucks, 10 or 20 bucks. And, you know, that's pretty darn cheap. Even the Walmart ones are 20. So I got one of those and it was so detailed and cool. And I, I couldn't hardly get it to roll on the ground because the wheels would turn. And so, yeah, I mean, if these cars, which they will get dirt cheap at some point because of the quality, and then all cars end up cheap at some point anyway, but these will be great, great gifts for kids um, because at that point, you know, the, the, the paint won't hold up, but you know what? If they're $10 cars, you can't even get them better at Walmart. I think they're 25 at Walmart for, you know, blacked out windows and paint. So, you know, they can... 
we can kind of get some cheap, nice ones for kids. So I know I would have liked it, but anyway, um, that'll be uh, the 2017 Kisa King uh, Darlington throwback. I'll be doing a couple more throwbacks here in the near future. Um, leave a like, put a comment on the video if you uh, have any other cars you want to see or if there's any specific um, suggestions you have to improve the video. Uh, other than that, we'll see you in the next video.